Hi guys, today I'm going to show you exactly how to clean a child's car seat without removing the covers. Now, why would some people do this? Well, firstly, not everybody is confident with removing covers as they stress out because they feel they won't be able to put the covers back on or they're shrinking the wash, and that's fair enough. And also, not all car seat covers come off. Okay, so jumping on to step one. First thing you need to do is hoover up as many crumbs as possible. If you're lucky enough to have an air compressor or a car dryer, then make sure you take the car seat out of the vehicle, stick it outside, and you can blow the crumbs off. It's actually a lot easier and it's a lot quicker to do that than just vacuuming alone. For step two, what you need is a fabric cleaner. For the purposes of today's video, I'm gonna be going absolutely nuts with a chemical today, and this is Williams Racing Fabric and Carpet Cleaner. After giving the seats a good soaking, I decided to let it sit for about five minutes. Didn't really want to let it go any longer because I didn't want anything to dry out. Jumping on to step three, it's time to get the steam cleaner out. Now I understand not everybody has one, but you can get one for around 20 pounds if you get a little handheld one, which is normally good enough. If you're not gonna be using it every day, then that will be just perfect for what you need. And the process of using a strong chemical plus steam actually makes a better finish on your seats. I mean, it's just a perfect combination. And the great thing about steam cleaners is you can take the heads off and you can just use a pressure head which actually blasts all the gunk out that sits in all the gaps and it really does make light work of it. If you don't have a steamer and you really can't afford one there's no shame in that just use a brush or a microfiber cloth all right you won't get the same results but they will still look good in the end. All right, so jumping on to step four. So by now the seats would be very damp, so now it's time to get out the wet vac. The vacuum of choice today is Charles, because let's face it, who doesn't trust a Charles? Okay, so look, there is an additional step to this. So if you wanna speed up the drying process, you can use an air compressor or a car dryer, because that will sort of get a lot of the water out as well. Now remember, if it's a nice sunny day, leave it outside, or if it's a colder day, leave it by a radiator and crank that sucker up. With all this virus stuff going on at the minute, it's actually becoming more important than ever to make sure that you get those car seats as clean as possible. Now I think you really should clean your child's car seat on a regular basis. I'm not saying steam it every single time because I understand not a lot of people have got that sort of time on their hands, but if you can steam it at least every three months, I think it does really help reduce the bacteria. And one thing I will say is you must always clean your hoover tools before you stick them on the car seat so whether you anti back them or steam them or bleach them or whatever just make sure that they are completely clean because there's nothing more disgusting than having a sort of cleanish seat you vacuum it up and then a child drops a sweet on it picks it up puts it in their mouth they don't know where that hoover's been now that hoover has been over many different seats it's been on carpets you may have had dog poo on it it's disgusting so do make sure that you know all your tools are as clean as possible so thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from this video. I've got some more stuff coming out, but for now I'm gonna sort of love you and leave you because I need to see the kids and I will see you soon. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got another one coming out in a couple of days, so I'll keep you all posted on that. Have a happy Easter and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.